Indie Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Rock Crawl for this test and review of the TLX 1982 Special. This is by 82 Studio, 107.46 megabytes to download. Now, <clears throat> before you... Uh, before you stop watching, there is a lot in this pack as, uh, as usual or as always with uh, A2 Studio um, mods uh, and trucks like this. So let's go through it first. We're going to look at the two trucks in this pack. And then we're going to look at the three attachments and we're going to test them all out, show them how all, how all they, they all work how they all work yes so the trucks themselves you'll find under vehicles and cars we have two we have the TLX 1982 special and the TLX 1982 patina uh, there is um, a fair bit of difference between the two of these so we're going to look at them both in detail however the spec uh, the specs are the same 480 to 795 horsepower manual transmission there is some choice of transmissions by the way 120 liters of fuel 74 miles per hour 7.9 tons uh, 17 slots for the special and 18 slots for the TLX 1982 patina first to special <clears throat> configuration standard open frame uh, you'll will need this um, configuration to fit the um, the attachments we have a workhorse which adds um, which is a package which adds as you can see if you we go back a bumper a hood scoop a roof um, man I don't know that that, that roof um, visor I must have painted a hundred of them <laughs> and um, exhaust a dual exhaust and that looks like about it for uh, that uh, then we have limited which is this and now uh, you cannot change the color can you change it no you can't change it the color is this this is the color with uh with the limited edition and then you have vintage edition with the wood grain and the uh the cream color that you can't change the color either so if you want color options uh, either go with standard or the open frame open frame workhorse workhorse you can change principal color yeah so uh, let's go not check the workhorse because we do have one it will show you that let's go back to the standard because that shows all the all the things with the things engine we have a 480 horsepower manual we have the transfer with low and high manual at 480 horsepower and then we have the 795 horsepower manual transmission for 12 grand wheel brands lizard and lizard uh, agricultural I think there's I can't read that <clears throat> BKT Nokian Continental Michelin off-road I uh, can't read that my eyes are bad and back to lizard so in lizard we have a uh, quite a number of choices as usual we will go through them uh, rim choices and then tire tires as well so duels and if you notice once you go to the duels it automatically puts the uh, side skirts on the rear which is kind of neat uh, going to the lizard the, the other lizard brand we kind of go through scroll through some of the same types of things as you can see here then BKT we have duels and different tread and sizes of tread etc etc Nokian we actually have uh, the the duels and then uh, dual uh, with this tread pattern that's kind of cool too that's pretty neat continental 
couple of kinds of duels Michelin some really wides and then duels off-road we have just uh, okay we have a couple of yeah we had, same thing with the off-road and then the I think that's like winter if I something like that uh, that just has some rim choices right so let's go with duels packages standard we have design one which is a stripe an extra stripe or um, actually it's a side molding design two is a molding over the top of the and design three so there's just kind of uh well it's actually i think it's that puts a uh, a chrome molding around the wheel openings wheel opening moldings interior colors we have the standard we have limited vintage dark design design 2 design 3 design 4 and standard let's go with 4 because i like it side wood no or yes so that second color you can make it uh, wood grain let's say no because um, we can change the color uh, hood design 1 well, you can have a hood scoop or not. This yellow color is really awful to see these things. Let's change it to a darker color like green. There we go. That's better. Yikes. Right. <clears throat> Still lots more options. So bumper, standard. Then design one, design two, design three, design four, standard so does the rear bumper change with these as well yes <coughs> excuse me so design four you get a spare wheel and a and a jerry can on the back now if you notice up front here with uh design two uh it appears to have a winch and which is actually true uh, that is actually a winch and we'll talk about that in a second cabin extra is standard design one oh horns okay design two uh, oh uh, running boards design three both of those and standard so you get uh, the the well running tubes i guess and horns on the hood visors yes or no uh, oh yes design one two three or no uh, i kind of like that color sets oh now we can choose vintage limited dark standard uh yeah so there's also a dark which is just flat black everywhere everything uh and then of course the vintage and limited so let's stick with this because there's still metals type so that's the grill like the chrome so vintage dark dark two standard huh ah, bed extras nothing we get a roll bar option a topper or no let's go with the topper because we can choose the color exhaust right both double right both let's go with double double daylight no or yes uh i do believe i'm not exactly sure that is but we'll leave it on lights no emergency bar we have bumper lights we have a roll bar which we don't have the roll bar lights come up on there uh combo one combo two combo three no combo three is like all all of them mirrors standard or towing mirrors winch so we have the choice uh now before we go any further with the winch if you're looking say why my winch is not working you need the platinum expansion dlc installed purchased installed and active on your map that you're playing on with this vehicle for the winch to work principal color um that is the color of the oh that's nice uh stripe that is the stripe down the side there we go topper we get to choose the color of the topper let's go oh i don't know oh blue looks nice 
Oh, that's interesting. That's uh, kind of like a composite. Well, I, I've seen those before. Uh, let's make it light blue. No, Ooh, that's bad. Orange, 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 you glad? Uh, I'm a different, oh, that has a different, uh, yes. So you have different levels of gloss as well with those colors, right. Uh, extras. <clears throat> Let's make them uh, green. Yes, there we go. Those are your bumpers. Rim color, anything you want. Let's make it dark green. Sure, why not? And a license plate. All right. So let's just buy this one anyways because we went through all that uh the patina one has much less options uh we have standard open frame workhorse the workhorse edition has the front bumper winch and a few of the extras uh limited is with the bo box and a roll bar and so forth obviously in distressed condition very nice well done and a vintage model of it. It's all, they're all actually all red. Um, the only thing you can change the color on is the rim, rim colors. Uh, right. So you can choose any of these. Let's go with the limited, uh, no, let's go with the, just the standard. So we can engine again, same options there. Wheel brands. Uh, uh, wheel brands are uh, the same wheel brands as before. Let's go into Lizard. Uh, we Do we have duels? Yes, we have duels. And when you pick the duels, then you get the fender skirts. Skirts. So, as far as I can tell, all of the tire options are exactly the same. So, there's no difference in tires. Packages. We've got the standard. We've got the design one. As you can see, the uh, uh, side molding, design two, the, the top molding, and, and so forth. So those are the same as the first one. Interior colors, you get to choose. That's the same as the first one. We get the, the wood, uh, wood grain, yes or no. Hood, standard, or scoop. Yeah, you see the patina changes when you do that too. That's neat. Very nice, nice touch. Uh, bumper, standard, design one. Two again with the winch so if we pick this one and we also get so the bumper choices are the same notice the spare tire changes uh, color with the rim color as well cabin extras we get the uh, same same options as we did with the first one visors yes or no and the same options there <clears throat> bed extras That's nice. Oh, look at that. That's really beat up. I like that. And exhaust, again, same same as there. Del daylight, yes or no. Lights, emergency bar, bumper, etc., etc. Mirrors. Uh, the winch, again, same as the other one. And rim color and license plate. All right, enough of that. Let's, let's hop in. We don't have, well, we do have one option with this version. L1 and R1, right stick, left and right. You can raise and lower the suspension for, uh, for purposes we will show later, but it is an option. Now, this one is uh, bright and Barbie-like, I know. And... Um, Let's drive it around a little bit. This is, uh, I do believe I... Yes, this is the 8 of the 700 and something. Whoa! It's a bit tippy, though. The uh, tires are grabby. Now, we also have the... Uh, oh, we have the up and down version. And did I put a winch on there? Yes, so L3, the winch works just like all the other winches. I'm not going to demonstrate the winch. I have many videos demonstrating the winch on all the other uh, all the other winch 
items that we've had. Now, the one thing that I find, okay, L1 and X opens the back. So fold, unfold, uh, left. When you have the topper on, L1 and left opens and closes the topper on the left on your D-pad. What I can't, I cannot figure out what L1 and right stick does. I've been fooling around with this for some time. Uh, interior, as you can see, is quite obviously based on a mm, 82 Ford. Uh, that steering wheel gives it away. That is classic Ford, late 70s, early 80s Ford steering wheel, 100%. Um, unfortunately, I just don't know what this does. Uh, L1 and right stick. The, uh, the version without the bed does not have it. And I can't see anything moving on it. Very curious. We have straps with or without the cap. Lights. Signals. Now also the, uh, wow, that's bright. So we have running lights. Again, I'm not sure what the difference between the daylight and not daylight means. Now, if you turn all the lights on, those are bright. Those are some bright lights. Uh, the beacon, this is the uh, bar, the beacon beacon yes right so we do have I do have a uh, vintage one up here for a little rock crawling and this is the transmission the high low transmission now I'm I have everything in automatic setting so uh, I uh, it's automatic but as you can see this thing is quite capable uh, it made it up here no problem uh, it's uh, if you like doing a little bit of rock crawling with this thing it's actually a very capable little truck uh, very nice can have some fun with this and uh, we're gonna go back we're gonna take this back because it has the open box and uh, we want I want to show you a couple oh dear oh there we go Suspension, nice. It a uh, very active suspension. Let's take it for a little drive back to the store. A uh, horn. La cucaracha. Right on. Okay. I always forget the horn. I'm glad I didn't forget the horn this time. Right, so it gets up to speed pretty good. We're gonna uh, we're gonna give it a torture test a little later on in the video up our hill here with some weight behind it. But I did want to uh, L1 and fold. So this one has the L1 and right stick left and right too, and I just can't. It's not. It doesn't have auto load or anything. There is the the belts. Yeah, not sure what that's for. Uh, so let's we have a fifth wheel. Let's see if it's going to Attach with the box to the fifth wheel. Oops. I guess I should probably line it up Because it appears to have a uh, this is a gooseneck No, okay, let's uh, Let's lower it and see if we can get in there So yes, there you go it will connect if we close that oh sorry there right so it connects to a gooseneck with the box on it come on unfold so we can disconnect and whilst I'm here I'll show you that yes it connects to a ball hitch and a pin hitch ball hitch no problem actually do we have an adjustment when it's no the hitch is not yeah 
it's not a hitch adjustment not sure if anyone can uh, if anyone knows what that's for uh, please leave uh, leave a comment in the comments leave a comment in the comments below if you know what that feature was I, I, I just can't figure it out I don't know what it does all right so there's that now let's uh, let's have a look at our attachments now that we've uh, thoroughly investigated our vehicle we have three attachments I have a couple of configurations uh, out here so uh, these two are uh, different configurations of the same we have a tank uh, this is a animal so four sorry four attachments and uh, a, a side um, a, a maintenance attachment so let's take a look those are going to be found in tools and miscellaneous and there they are we have uh, the old flatbed a stake bed service bed there is only three where's the tank oh the tank yes the tank is oh the tank is mm, yeah, okay that's why we have there there is only three there is um, yes let's look at the flatbed first I'm confusing myself uh, designs we have design options of a wood metal um, diamond plate um, just a uh, galvanized it looks like and a really old beat up old metal floor I do like the wood uh, lights we have lights yes or no and a color choices is any one of these colors uh, or even base game colors $1,200 for that and $1,480 for the lights the stake bed that is where we have um, configuration all doors forage transport 10,000 liters unrealistic forage is a hundred thousand liters there is the liquid tank at uh, 7300 liters and a livestock transport so we have a flatbed side door all door forage tank and a livestock we got all, all of those oh we don't have this one uh, but it's just purely just a flat deck with uh, straps so we get to choose a color of course uh, let's go over to the tank because you have a choice of tank colors and that uh, we have the polished we have aluminum looks kind of distressed too look at that it's uh, kind of kind of uh, yeah dark steel lots of lots of chrome colors and then more chrome colors and then we get into the basically a uh, base standard colors like here right 1200 bucks to change the color there um, yeah, twelve hundred go to Giants colors or the standard palette, and no dollars uh, for the custom colors. So just so you know that. And finally, the service bed has a number of options: configuration standard, unreal capacity. So we have four thousand five hundred liters or forty-five thousand liter capacity of fuel. Decorative, yes, we have uh, decorations, yes or no inside as well we have rack yes or no vinyls this is interesting we have design one design two design three design four or design five and six so very very nice uh, they look really nice uh 1500 bucks for that lights beacons work lights or both color choices again if we go with uh, the Giants uh, palette it's $1,200 the rack color like so no charge if you choose the custom colors and the license plate right okay oh uh, with the open bed you can also attach all of these trailers plus a semi trailer just wanted to show that before I get into the beds or the backs attachment 
so like so so any semi trailer and of course uh, to adjust your height uh, L1 and R1 and you can adjust the height of your vehicle like so right okay let's go get that flat bed on here So as you can see here, you still can attach the gooseneck. Um, can you attach the semi-trailer with the back on there? That's a good question. Lights with the back attached. We have lights, signal lights. Uh, the beacons is up front. And the lights. Lights light up when you light up the high beams. Let's double check this semi-trailer with the flat deck on there. I'm sorry if this video is getting a little long. It's just there's so much when you, with these, uh, with David's mods, it's it's incredible. Yes, so I don't know if there's going to be any interference with the semi-trailer and the flat deck on there. But it attaches, just so you know. Right, okay. Next up is, oh, the uh, attachments. They are three slots for the flat deck. Uh, the next one here, the second of them, and notice there's uh, the, uh, the poles don't have collisions, so you're not like bumping into everything. Uh, this back is nine slots on console. I have chosen the Unreal capacity for this uh, I will show you what you can put in it we have TMR which is comes in super handy for uh, well feeding cows straw hay silage grass chaff and TMR so TMR is something new from the latest update and it's a very interesting when it fills it has this um, animation I really like that. That's really neat. Instead of just kind of a generic uh, filled, uh, it's filling with basically grass or whatever you, like forage, shall we say. So that's really neat. And there we go, 100,000 liters of, we have TMR, but it appears like this. Very neat. Um, how does it empty? Well, we just come up there. There's only one option to empty, but watch this. 100,000 liters gone in like mm, three seconds that unloads fast boom see and they say oh we can't unload it too fast it's really, well modders look at that that unloaded super fast hundred thousand liters in seconds why don't we have that in some other mods i'm asking i'm really asking that question why why do we not right Right, <clears throat> all right, so now we have attached the tank configuration. And um, depending on what what you go under, the A2 Studio, by anything, you can put canola, slurry, methane, diesel, olive oil, water, milk, liquid fertilizer, digestate, herbicide, sunflower oil, right through that. If we go over to a... Uh, the multi-fruit way uh, buy station way and buy station that I also use for all my testing because it does offer different products sometimes uh, aside from a two studio one uh, there we got slurry water milk liquid fertilizer digestate herbicide diesel diesel exhaust fluid so let's fill it up with slurry 7300 liters I, it's odd that there isn't an unreal option to this perhaps it was forgot or missed seems a bit odd usually there is one included but not this time perhaps like i said it was forgot or missed and perhaps we'll see it in an update so unloading pretty simple like so and the unload speed is um pretty unreal so that's why i'm curious as to why um 
I'm sure there was an Unreal option because it wouldn't unload that fast unless there was to uh, take advantage of the, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's just go in here and um, go with the side door, all doors option to show that because I don't, uh, it looks like the forge one, but this is, we'll attach it. There we go. Now, we should have different options here. Open cover, and it opens the side like that. Very nice. Okay. Open the next cover. L1 and left of the D-pad, and it will go and open your right side. Put that back on. There we go. All right, so we have, oh, and it, uh, oh, there we go. It. <laughs> Uh, so it, it, go, it cycles through all three and then you can close it and then there we go, it's closed. Uh, other than that, we have tension belts. And that's it. Right, okay. So that's the, um, the second one of the two uh, attachments. Or actually that's, yeah, that is the second one because we have one other, uh, the, still in the second attachment, we have the animal. Uh, it looks just like the other one, but this is for animal transport. So let's go over to the animal. The animals are just over here. And we will show you all the different animals. And this will, this will, cows, pigs, sheep, horses, and chickens. Uh, chickens is not mentioned the capacity in the description, so I will buy some and show you. 65 chickens. Oh, there they all are. Look at that. Uh, so 65 chickens you can uh, you can fit in there. Let's just sell those and uh, see what the um, horses what the horses look like in there. Three horses. So three horses. And it's the same for um, all the others. We won't go through all of them. Well, we'll keep the horses in there. Right, so that's the animal transport. That was still on the uh, second of the three mods or the three attachments. Right, so finally, the last one is the service uh, back on and I have configured it with a Kubota with some orange coloring and so forth and I have uh, I have some diesel fuel in there now you can fill it either at an 8.2 studio diesel fuel like so or you can also fill it at a uh, fuel station uh, there we go. So, filling at a fuel station. Very nice. Okay, so that works. Um, how about refueling a vehicle from this? Well, I have, uh, I have a big tractor here, which is something you probably would refuel. And, will I get the trigger? No. I do know that I do not get the trigger coming up. That's um, that's a problem. Oh, there we go. Refill tractor. Guess you have to be on the right side. Hmm. Right. Okay. There we go. Right. So you can refill vehicles. It looks like it just only popped up on the right side. So that's interesting. You can also well, let's uh, you can you'll also use it for. Um, transporting fuel. Let's just put a fuel tank here. And say you get fuel from somewhere else that's cheaper. Yes, you can unload. The unload speed is a tad slow, actually, compared to the other attachments. So that's a bit odd, but it is what it is. And that's it. We got uh, we got lights and signals, uh, beacons. There's a beacon on the back that you, if you uh, was an option. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to that. 
Uh, the next, the only, the only, the last thing we're going to test, we're going to set up a trailer full of uh, something, and we're going to pull it up the hill. So I'm going to park this here, unload that, right? Oops. Oh, that's caught. Oh, there's a, there is a little bit of a collision there. All right, let me set this up and we'll be right back. Oh, hey, I nearly forgot something. I needed to mention uh, compatibilities as mentioned on the description. It reads, included beds can also be mounted on the TLX 3500 single cab. The XL beds from the TLX 3500 can be mounted on the TLX 1982. So they are interchangeable the TLX 1982 and the TLX 3500. The snowplow from the TLX 2020 can also be attached to the front of this. I did not show these, but I wanted to mention that. Thank you, carry on. I didn't want to kill it too badly, so I've just filled it with wheat. And we're here at the, uh, the launch point, and as you can see, it's a little bit, uh, the suspension acts a little bit weird when it has semi-trailer on there but we're gonna go anyways and I have it the suspension lowered so it looks like it's it's uh it's not liking it too much but it still goes and we're getting up to speed pretty good uh, oh that'd be really disconcerting inside inside the vehicle if that's if your car was going like that when you were pulling something Right, so here we go up the hill. Actually, we're doing pretty good. I must say, there's been semi-trailers, uh, semi-trucks that fared way worse than this. Looks like we're going to make this uh, hill no problem. Of course, this is 795 horsepower. Yeah, see, it's doing this, this weird side-to-side -side thing. Like it can't decide how to manage. Uh oh, uh oh. First gear. Looks like we're gonna make it though. We're powering up to the the precipice, and I guess it didn't take too long. So we're gonna test the brakes to see how well it stops all this weight as we get to the top. That's not too bad, 15 miles per hour. Now it isn't rocks, it is wheat, but uh, I think it was asking too much if I put rocks in there. And it might have taken like a half an hour to get to the top of the hill. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can hit the 90, 96 miles. Uh-oh, we're losing stability. Uh-oh, whoa. 66, 60, 70. We well, didn't even get to the 90. Okay, let's put the brakes on. Oh, oh. Well, I must say it did stop quite well. <laughs> I almost lost it there, though. It's pretty squirrely at that speed carrying a carrying a that. So, anyways, uh, there you go. Uh, that's I believe. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you all for watching. That's the TLX 1982 Special by 82 Studio. Mm. Funny that correlates somehow, right? 107.46 megabytes to download. It's for all platforms. I'm Louie Farm Guy. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.